uh, I got my new soundboard. I went on here and uh, pulled the trigger on the new Rodecaster Pro. It came in, uh, you know, it came, you know, it came in the mail while I was, you know, while I was down for a little bit. You know, I was in the hospital for like, uh, for like three, four days because I caught that, uh, caught that pneumonia. And uh, oh, I, I finally, man, I yeah. I wonder how come I hadn't heard from you, man. I was yeah, like, yo, yeah. I ain't heard from my boy Locker, man, in about a week. Yeah, man, I was, uh, I, I was, I, I went on vacation. Uh, I went on vacation, or I started vacation like a week ago, and then all of a sudden, uh, I get home. <clears throat> I get home, and pretty much that, pretty much that. Because Father's Day was on a Sunday, so that Friday night, um, that Friday night, my my peoples, you know, saw the way that I wasn't feeling good. I was wheezing. I was breathing hard. Couldn't catch my breath. And, you know, everybody was like, yo, let's pack this nigga up and take him to the hospital. So, you know, I get to the, yeah, so I get, so I get to the hospital uh you know about four maybe about four five we got there at four o'clock in the morning so actually i did not get seen and or diet not well i got seen but i didn't get diagnosed until maybe about 12 o'clock in the evening now mind you i haven't ate shit i haven't ate nothing i was hungry i was thirsty and I'm over here asking the nurses, doctors, doctors, interns, all the motherfuckers like, yo, bro, can I can I get something to drink? <laughs> can I get something to drink? Like, and, well, we, we can't give you nothing to drink because of uh, because, you know, the doctor, you know, don't know what you, you know, diagnosed with or whatever the case. I'm like, well, what the fuck, man? Can I can I get some ice chips or some shit like that? They couldn't even give me no motherfucking ice chips, man. I was I'm over here starve. I'm I'm thirsty, starving, and pissed at the same damn time. So man, that's I, a terrible combination, bro. Right. So I turned around and I told the dude, I was like, look, man, can I get some oxygen then? Can I get some of that? Yeah. So they <laughs> yeah, they, they they came they came in and, and, and put the oxygen on me. So that that kind of like calmed me down for a little bit, but um but later <laughs> long story short they um they said it was in in it, they said it was an infection in my lungs and come to find out that it was uh that it was a pneumonia now i already i already knew that i had it was i already knew that it it could have been pneumonia i wasn't i wasn't sure because when i was on my way back home from georgia I thought it was COVID because, you know, I, I had the I had the symptoms of COVID. But when I got home and took the COVID test, COVID, you know, the test said negative on the COVID. So I was like, cool. So I knew it was pneumonia. But when they came back and um, they took, you know, they took some x-rays. They put me in a, I think that was a CAT scan, either MRI or a CAT scan. And they uh, scanned my chest and everything. and come to find out that half of my you know when they turned the when they turned the picture up and they were showing me the image yeah half of my half of my lung was filled up with uh was full was filled with fluid and it was uh Ooh, it was man. pneumonia yeah so they they uh you know they constituted to my son getting me there you know getting me to the hospital on time and all like that so they can hurry up and start the aggressive treatment so i'm in a hospital uh long story short on that you know, they they wanted me in the hospital for a couple of days. A couple of days turned into a couple of more days, and and now you know they they hit me with the IV. You know, the anti antibiotics IV shit. You know, they got all that up in me, and then they uh, sent me home with uh with about five, yeah, about five pills of the uh, the anti of uh, the oral antibiotics. It's the same thing. But you know, it's not going into your bloodstream. It pretty much dissolves. Right, it, right. It dissolves into you. Right. So, but while I was at the hospital, the crazy thing about being at the hospital and shit is that you get like, you you get like a team of motherfuckers. You, you you get like a, like the internal medicine. I, I want to just say that I, 
I guess they was doctors. I don't know. But it was like a team of internal medicine. And they only see you one day, like once a day. They, they, they came in. I saw, them, I, I saw them when I got checked in. They came in Monday. I saw them Monday. And it was like, okay, well, we're going to get you up out of here uh, Tuesday. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm going home Tuesday. They come in Tuesday, tell me the same shit. And then tell me I'm going to leave up out of there Wednesday. I'm like, okay, no problem. Wednesday, no problem. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting better and better. They come in Wednesday over here talking about some other shit. Like, well, we noticed that your, <laughs> we, we noticed that your glucose levels are off the chart. I said, yeah, I said, I know about my blood sugar. Every time I get sick, my blood sugar always go out of whack. It's not because I'm eating or anything like that because I'm not eating shit, you know, in, in the hospital anyway. So the only reason why my blood level is spiking is because of the, all the other shit that y'all putting into me. So they right. over here, they, they over here talking about, well, we, we think that you need, uh, we, we think that you need to go on the, um, on the insulin and, and maybe we need to up the dosage. You know, I was like, y'all, I said, wait a minute. I'm in here for fucking pneumonia, not my glucose levels, man. Like, come on. I, I, I know about my glucose levels. I know how to get them back under control once I get home. Well, you know, exactly. we, well, we talked to your doctor and we just think that, you know, that you might want it. No. I said, no. I said, let's just concentrate on the real reason why I'm here. And that's to alleviate this pneumonia that's in my damn chest, not my glucose levels. I said when I I said again when I get home I will concentrate on my glucose levels and once I concentrate on that I'm I'm good we we good we good oh, okay well we we thinking about keeping you in I said no I says uh this is what Wednesday right so you know when they came in and we was talking it was like look I want to go home tomorrow Point blank simple. I said, look, you know, y'all, y'all got me hemmed up on this, on this IV treatment. I really do appreciate it. I feel that it's working. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm moving around. I got my color back. I'm got a bowel movement. I said, all the shit that I didn't have when I came in here, I got now. I'm I'm shitting up a fucking storm. Okay. So I, I said, I'm I'm cool. I said, I'm I'm going home tomorrow, which was Thursday. And they go. They go, well, we, we'll see. I said, no. I said, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I said, I, I'll tell you what. You will see. <laughs> I said, I said, after I take the IV treatment Thursday morning, by 12 o'clock, I'm in my clothes getting ready to go. Yeah, but no, no, no. Yeah, we back. We uh, back. Okay. So I said, no, no, no. I said, by 12 o'clock, I am in my clothes getting ready to go. Point blank simple. I said, I says, whatever the case, I'm going home at 12 o'clock Thursday. I said, make that happen. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll try to. I said, ain't no try. What the, what the fuck? Did you, I said, did you just hear what I said? I said, I'm leaving regardless, bro. Regardless. I said, I'm leaving regardless. I said, you know how much this fucking bill is right now? Nigga, I said, I got insurance, but that insurance ain't that fucking good for me to stay up in this <laughs> motherfucker. Hell no. Hell no. So, um, so, you know, like I said, I'm, 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 I'm pretty much good to go. I got, uh, I got one more pill to take and then I got my, uh, I got my, uh, follow up on Friday, which not going to happen. You know, I told, uh, I told my, I told my people here at the, at the company, it was like, yo, I, I said, my follow-up is on Friday. Okay, we're good. We, we got you, LaShawn. No problem. Guess where the fuck I'm going? Uh, Florida? Laredo fucking Texas, bro. Oh, hell no, dog. Yeah, I'm going to take you to Friday to get to Laredo. I, I know, right? <laughs> it's, I, I know, right? At least when you get down, especially when you get down to Texas on Wednesday, right? You, you, I, I'll get down to Texas on Wednesday, but I ain't gonna be down at the bottom of the map until Friday. 
You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. So I, I, I got book. Yeah, I got. Well, I I think they they had me on an initial load that I had to wait, and I I kind of think I was going down to Florida, but I think this was an emergency load that they needed to get going. Because uh, this got somebody else's name on it, you know, like that. So I'm assuming something must have happened. About see me with this, qu- with the company, what I'm with, I don't question. I, I don't, I, I don't ask no questions. As long as that motherfucking settlement check comes good every week, I'm good. I'm good. I, I don't. They don't have to worry about me complaining about shit. 